Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I want to share my recording settings with OBS Studio. It is a software that I use to record The Forest and many other games. So I'm just going to open up Google. I'm going to go OBS in the search. Click enter. Uh, here, the top one here is get OBS Studio for Windows. It must be OBS Studio. However, I like to use this one. Basically, this gives you the option to click Windows Studio and then you get both options, regular OBS Studio or OBS plus browser source. This is the one we're going to be getting. So you click it, download it. It takes about 30 seconds. Okay, so now let's open up OBS Studio and I will run through my settings with you. So here we go. Go to settings, go to general. Here we leave default stream we leave default because we're recording and that's what this is for. Output, we click recording, we click advanced. Here we type, we leave standard recording path, you just choose your own, set it anywhere you want to. The best place to set it though is where your games are not installed for best performance. Important, set it to MP4. Uh, audio tracks, we're going to use two. I'm gonna show you how that works. We got audio track one clicked, audio track two clicked. Encoder, this is for NVIDIA cards, not for AMD, so sorry. Uh, we're going to be using the NVENC H.264 encoder. We're going to scale the output 1920 to 1080. For the rate control, we're going to have CQP. Uh, this, is the, this is almost lossless, but not quite. Very good and high quality. The CP the CQP is set to 18, keyframe zero, uh, presets default, main auto, and use two pass, they are default. So audio. Here we go to our desktop. For me, it is speakers real tech high definition audio. So select that or wherever you got your outputs to. For me, this is my headphones, and that's the best place to record to. Uh, for my mic. Just going to go microphone one here blue snowball there you go the rest i leave default click apply and go to video here again 1920 1080 1920 1080 for downscale filter i use lank sharpen scaling 32 samples that is the highest quality and the common fps is 60. so now that's done set a hotkey for your recording uh, advanced i leave as is you don't need to touch that uh, once we've got that done, you're going to want to go to the mixer. Here, my mic I have on track one, and I uncheck all the others for my desktop audio, which is my headphones, I have on track two. So the game will come out on track two, and my microphone will come out on track one, meaning I can edit it. So if I'm playing with somebody, uh, their voice will come out in the same place as the game, and mine in a separate, so we can adjust our levels and get them perfectly right. Okay, so now for the scenes, what you want to do is you want to do it from a fresh like this. So add scene, call it whatever you want. Uh, then next we want to go to game capture, click it here, capture any full screen application. You can also capture third party overlays, which I'll just click that for now. And you can uncheck your cursor if you want to. So click OK. Now that's done, we want to boot up a game. In this case, it's going to be the forest. Okay, so we have booted up the game and as you can see, it's now showing up here in the OBS. If we click uh, record, start recording, we will just quickly boot up the game and just do a little few bits and bobs. Uh, you'll notice there is absolutely zero FPS lags whatsoever with this recording method because we are using the NVIDIA uh, encoder. So let's, that will do for the gameplay. Let's press F11. That was the hotkey to stop recording. End the game. Next, we will drop that file into our video editing software, which we are going to use Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13. So there we go. Just going to drop it in. Uh, we put it into Shadowplay, didn't we? So we should find it here somewhere. There it is. Once dropped in, as you can see, look, we have uh, two separate audio tracks. One, this one is our microphone, and this one is the game. So if we just play the game, you 
can hear that nicely. Now if we just add the microphone uh, encoder, so let's, that will do for the and this is great for like when you're playing with other people, you know, their voices will come out on the game track, yours will come out here and then you can adjust it accordingly and get the levels perfectly fine. Like you can add like a separate uh, tweaks to your audio and FPS lags whatsoever with this recording method because and there you go and it, it's really handy software and it's absolutely free of charge. So there guys is my settings. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you out.